Teeth check, hair check, ready! Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing a favorites video. Whoa, whoa! I haven't filmed a sit down video in a while, so I'm pretty excited. Um, some of this stuff is old, some of this stuff is new, some of this stuff is blue, none of it's borrowed. <laughs> Megan, your neighborhood dad. <laughs> so for this video, I have teamed up with Jergens because they are one of the favorite products that I'm about to show you guys in this video. So I'm very excited. So thank you so much to Jergens for partnering up with me. I mean, we all know that I've been an, an old school fan of Jergens. You can probably find YouTube videos of me in 2011, like solely relying on sunless tanner from them. <sighs> yeah. Love that. <laughs> Honestly, if I smell their sunless tanner, it reminds me of middle school and high school. Like I just smell it and I'm like, yep, this is me. This is me going to a 4th of July party and I'm looking lightly bronzed. So my first favorite is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer and this is the one with refreshing coconut oil. They've got different scents and different flavors, but I mean, I'm basic. I live in LA. I love coconut oil. <laughs> oh, I spilled too much. Oh no, go back. Oh, my hair is stuck on it too. So you know I really use it. <laughs> now this is called wet skin moisturizer, not just because uh, it is straight out of the shower and dripping wet all over me and my sweatpants. It is the wet skin moisturizer because you put it on your body while your body is still wet in the shower. So it makes it incredibly easy, but also it absorbs into your skin faster and better because it's wet and it stays super moisturized. You don't even have to like, rinse it off or wipe it off your body afterwards. You literally get out of the shower, you dry your body off like normal. You can walk around your house naked. I'm not here to judge you. That's definitely what I do I feel like it was made for me because I'm like now I can never have the excuse of like oh I forgot to moisturize my skin because I can just do it in the shower when I'm like singing fifth harmony cool I need to like finish this little riff let me moisturize my whole body <laughs> you guys want to see where you can get it for yourself I mean it's in like every drugstore but I will also link it down below because we're in the skincare vein let's move on to the rest of my skincare favorite dee 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 hi my name is Megan and these are expensive and I'm sorry my bad this first favorite is the good jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment from Sunday Riley. This is a serum. I love Sunday Riley in general. They make amazing skincare. I am a huge, huge, huge fan. And I also like the fact that it says lactic acid because for some reason I always laugh because it just reminds me of lactating, which lactating is not necessarily like funny, but <laughs> I apply serums before I apply my moisturizer or oils or anything like that. I use it day and night. It does things to my face. I don't know. It's one of those things that you put on your face and then you look in your skin later and you're like, oh wow, that looks really good. I'm sure that this was the thing that did that. A plus to you. Don't bark, it's okay. My next two skincare favorites are also from Sunday Riley, and these are two of their skin oils. And the first one is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil, and this one is Blue Abadi Abada. I love putting oils on my face. I love putting oils on my body, my hair, everything. I'm just like an oily girl. It really helps with my lifestyle. <laughs> So this has retinol in it, which helps with lines and wrinkles, which I really desperately need help with because ever since I got LASIK, I've been squinting when I'm around bright lights because I'm very sensitive now. Not that I wasn't sensitive before. It's so good when you put it on your skin at night, you kind of look a little bit like Smurf-like. Like you look a little tinted blue. Oh, cute, babe. And I also like applying this before I get on airplanes. And everyone's like, that girl's face looks kind of blue and shiny. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And this next one is their UFO oil, which I've actually never read why it's called that. I just thought it was fun. Cause I was like, aliens, conspiracy theory. It's their ultra clarifying face oil. Oh, ultra clarifying has a hyphen between them, which is why it's not UCFO. <laughs> this one has salicylic acid in it. And if you guys have seen any of my skincare videos, you know that I was on Accutane and that's like 100% what cleared my skin up. But this, I really feel like helps me keep my skin just in check at all times. And I also work out a lot, which <laughs> I love that I can say that now. <laughs> I sweat a ton all of the time. So it's really good for me to have something that I can put on my face that's going to keep my skin moisturized before I go work out. Skin doesn't get like dry and overproduce oil, but I don't want to put anything too rich so my skin can breathe. So I feel like this really helps. Inky, my hair is getting flat. My last skincare favorite is from It Cosmetics and this is their Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream, which smooths, brightens, and depuffs. I almost read it, but it said it in another language and I was like, I don't know what that means at all. I need to go back to college. This is basically just an eye cream. It's blue. I don't know why I'm into blue things recently. Up a day, up a Jokes is really old. I'm so sorry. I have too much skincare stuff on and then I put makeup on. I feel like it pills off. But this, I think, really works underneath my makeup, which I like. I really hope that it helps with aging because I want to look 
12 for the rest of my life. Not 12, because I already passed that, because I got a mom haircut. But you know, I'll stick with like 18, 17. Moving on to makeup favorites, my favorite foundation of the moment is from Wet n Wild, and it's the Photo Focus Foundation, and this is amazing. I know all of us have gotten into like deep into those like Toxic Glam Life Guru YouTube holes. I can watch somebody else talk about makeup that I have no intention of buying for like 45 minutes. And she reviewed this, and she always looks beautifully airbrushed, and I was also killing time while I was waiting for my uh, prescription for my ADHD medicine to get refilled when I was at CVS and so I picked this up and I'm obsessed I blend the colors nude ivory and soft beige it's what I'm wearing on my face right now it doesn't give you like flashbacks and photos and I'll be real it looks really pretty I have expensive foundations that I haven't been using and I just keep using this one and I use it at VidCon I use it all the other times I left my house I only have one more makeup favorite and that is from Marc Jacobs <laughs> totally opposite end of the spectrum from Wet n Wild and this is their do you do drops like D-E-W-Y-O-U question mark do you I do fire jokes Megan this is a liquid highlighter and it is beautiful I like putting this underneath my makeup but I also just like putting it on my body <laughs> on like my legs if I want to like really highlight the fact that I've got like a ton of bruises from falling off a spin bike can you guys see that it's so pretty I have a home favorite and they are napkin rings uh, I am 95 years old these are these super cute napkin rings they're like these agate rock crystal agate kind of things agate agate I got mm, Watergate history. These are from Crate and Barrel. They've got gold on the sides and they're just really cute napkin rings. I love them. My boyfriend got them for me for my birthday. Thanks, babe. So my food favorite of the month isn't necessarily food as much as it is things that I add to something to make a drink. And I've been really into bulletproof coffee as well as turmeric lattes. And for that, I use MCT oil, which comes from coconut oil. Guys, wow, I really do love oil. I was not kidding, especially coconut oil. I just got this one from Whole Foods. And then I also have this super collagen powder and I've just been a huge fan. I've really switched up my diet in the last couple of months. Just high fat, moderate protein, low carb, and I've like never felt better and that also just meant incorporating a lot more like healthy fats and collagen to my diet it's amazing what collagen does to your body it's already something that's in your body but when you have a surplus of it I have like 90 year old man joints is what my doctor says <laughs> and collagen's been helping so much with that and if you guys want any more like healthy fitnessy lifestyle things let me know yeah, I can always be Gwyneth Paltrow goop haha <laughs> I have two favorite podcasts of the month first I will get my um shameless promo out of the way which is my podcast huh don't blame me with Megan Rinks. Um, yeah, if you guys have seen, I've been uploading videos to YouTube. Some of them are like actually filmed camera in front of me as I'm recording the podcast and some are just of the audio version. I love my podcast. It's super fun. We're going to start incorporating having guests coming on, which I think will be really, really, really cool. I will link the playlist down below where you can listen to all the episodes, but it's also on SoundCloud and the Apple podcast app. And we've got a website. So if you don't have either of those, you can figure out how to listen to it that way. And we also just started accepting international calls, which is awesome. And all of that information I will leave in the down bar. It's also always in the description of the videos that I post on YouTube of the podcast. It's an advice podcast. I hope you guys have been liking it. If you guys like it, I would also love if you leave a review on iTunes and share it with your friends. And my other favorite podcast that is not my own is My Favorite Murder. I am obsessed with this podcast. I have always been into true crime. I always found that stuff crazy fascinating, obviously incredibly sad, but this podcast has made me feel a little less crazy with being like so fascinated by these like crazy true crime stories. It's such a good combination of personality and then storytelling on top of it because it keeps it very lighthearted. It's not just like a storytelling podcast. It's one of those ones where you listen to it and you feel like, like you're hanging out with your friends and you're like haha Georgia that was so funny and you're like I'm alone in my car these people don't know who I am that's how I feel about that podcast I'm panting so my last favorite is my favorite movie of the month which I also really loved the big sick I'm just gonna throw that out there if you want to see that one 100% but also my movie what the f wow yeah I <laughs> I made a movie? I think. I'm still pretty sure at any point someone is going to call me and be like, hey, remember that massive prank we put on you for like an entire month? The jig's up, ha ha ha. I haven't actually talked about it on YouTube yet, which is crazy, um, but if you've seen on social media, that's kind of where I went for like a month when I was pretty MIA. Yeah, I made a movie, which is really, really, really crazy. Long story short, a couple of years ago, I wrote this short story in this character and all these kinds of things.
things and then uh, I found a writer to like really make a script out of it and then uh, we sold it to Lionsgate and then uh, fast forward like three and a half years and we made a movie. <laughs> I'm just as confused as you are about how any of this happened. But yeah, so I just did a movie and it's called Honored. It's not out yet. We don't even have any sort of details, which I know I probably should like wait to talk about it until I can tell you guys like where you can see it when it comes out or when it's even going to come out. Probably next year if I'm gonna be honest, but I just feel like I should say something because like I haven't told YouTube. You guys have seen it on Instagram and all that stuff. And if you guys want to follow the movie's account on Instagram, there are the most like amazing pictures ever. Like so incredibly good. I'm so happy that I was very annoying with Lionsgate. I was like, can we please have like some young, cool, trendy photographer on set every single day? It happened. Her name's Taylor. She's awesome. I'll also link her website down below and her Instagram. But yeah, if you want to follow the Instagram, that's the best place to find out updates of everything. But quick synopsis of the movie in case you care. Again, it's called Honored and it's about these four girls who were friends growing up all through childhood and they have this massive falling out and by the time they get to the senior year of high school, none of them are friends with each other anymore and then they decide that they are going to complete this bucket list that they made their freshman year before they graduate. So I think it's pretty cute. It's not like Crossroads. Nobody is pregnant. <laughs> Crossroads meets Sleepover meets Perks of Being a Wallflower, the book, meets Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Not the sequel, just the first one. Except nobody goes to Greece. We did not have that much money. That would be cool. Maybe a sequel? But yeah, obviously I will let you guys know when more things come out about the movie and you will hear it on Twitter and Instagram and all those things. But yeah, it was really fun and really awesome and I still can't believe it happened. Also at any point, if you guys have seen this little necklace, it says honored on it. It's my wrap gift for the girls and our director. <laughs> so cute, I'm really sad. I'm really, 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 really sad. I also need another job. <laughs> okay guys, my very, 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 very last favorite, I swear, is Dancing with the Stars. Sasha Petersa is currently on Dancing with the Stars and she is just a favorite human in general. I love her so, so, so much. She is literally dancing her ass off and I got to go see the first taping of it. I am probably gonna go as many times <laughs> as I can. Please go vote for her. She's amazing. It's also fun to watch the whole show because Frankie Muniz is literally the most precious person ever, but you should still only vote for Sasha. It's on Monday nights. It's a live show. If you watch it live, you might see me being really nervous watching her dance. I'm gonna leave the phone number down below as well as how to vote online and all of those things and again if you follow me on social media I will be shoving it down your throat every single Monday night to go vote for her please do she needs that mirror ball it's gonna be great I feel like we should make like a mirror glazed cake because of the mirror ball for Dancing with the Stars Unagi. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. I hope your September has been far more festive than my September. This is really not fall-like. It's very hot, except in here right now because I turned on the air conditioning so I could wear a sweater so I could fit the fall aesthetic. If you guys have any more video requests, please let me know. Um, I've been posting on my blog a little bit more than not at all. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have that link down below along with the rest of my social media stuff. I hope you guys have a good day or night or, well, day, days, days or nights. Nights or days. Insightful. Okay, guys. Bye.